Hi there, and thanks for tuning in to another edition of International Trade Figures. Now, the government of Ghana is rigorously pursuing the West Africa Transport and Transit Facilitation Project by the construction of some strategic road projects to facilitate transit trade. This has led to the timely completion of the Tema Motorway Runabout Road Project, which is part of Ghana's International Corridor. Now, on today's edition of International Trade Figures, we shall take a look at how this and other important international corridor roads can help promote transit trade between Ghana and our landlocked countries. International Trade Figures is brought to you by Ghana Free Zones Authority. They say sharing good fortunes and go good energy, ADB, truly a great and more. International Trade Figures is also supported by Pijasi Valley Resort. My name is Anas Pio. Stay tuned. Greater Accra Regional Minister, Minister for Roads and Highways, Minister for Transport, Ministers and Deputy Ministers of State, Member of Parliament for Tema East, and Member of Parliament for Tema West, Metropolitan Chief Executive for Tema Metropolis, Chief Directors, Chief Executives, and Directors of Public Agencies, Japanese Ambassador to Ghana, Country Director of Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, Mi Mankralo of Tema, and other traditional rulers, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen. This is an excellent day in the life of Tema, the pandemic COVID-19 notwithstanding. For many, many years, Residents living in and around the Tema metropolis and motorists plying this route have had to endure the inconvenience of unbearable traffic and a poor road network when traversing the then rotary intersection. Today we are witnessing an end to this unacceptable situation with the commissioning of the newly constructed Tema Interchange, which is part of the Ghana International Corridors Project. Comprising a two-tier intersection, a tunnel in the east-west direction, four kilometers of improved roads, four pedestrian bridges, one at each approach to the intersection, and the presence of several drainage structures. This project was financed by a grant secured from the Japanese government to the tune of 6 billion yen, or 56 million United States dollars. Started and finished within the contractual period of 28 months, i.e. February 2018 to June 2020. It created thousands of direct and indirect jobs for many able-bodied young men and women and businesses in this catchment area. So, to Emperor Naruhito, a friend of Ghana, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, another friend of Ghana, the government and people of Japan who provided the facility for the construction of this important piece of infrastructure. The Ghanaian people say, Arigato Gozanas. We appreciate very much the excellent long-standing relations our country enjoys with Japan and we expect that the execution of this project will serve to deepen further those relations. An outstanding example of these excellent relations is the great invaluable contribution the Japanese-funded Noguchi Memorial Institute is making to our fight against the pandemic. Long may Ghana-Japan relations flourish. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it is not lost on anyone that the smooth flow of traffic in our cities and urban areas, as well as safety on our roads, are critical to the development of the country and to enhancing the growth of key sectors of the economy. However, we find ourselves in a situation where the upsurge of vehicular traffic coupled with rapidly increasing urban population are putting a lot of pressure on facilities in our city, especially on our road infrastructure and sapping productivity. That is why the completion of phase one of the Tema Interchange project is such a welcome development. We made a pledge to the Ghanaian people to expand and improve the road network while closing the missing links in the network. We had to make this pledge because we know that the so-called unprecedented infrastructure development of the Mahama administration was fantasy, existing in the Green Book and not on the ground. We know that the provision of quality road infrastructure is an important tool for the socio-economic development of our country. And government will ensure the even spread of such projects across the country. That is why we are determined to complete major road projects like the Pukwasa Interchange, the Eastern Corridor Road, the Bogatanga Pulimakum Road, the Tamale Interchange, the Tema Boma Road, Obwasi Town Road, the Sampa Jinjini Road, the Atebubu Kwame Dansu Road, the Trifu Prasu Asenfusu Road, the Lekma Road, the Suhum Asaman Kesi Odai Road, the Benchema Junction Adrafu Road, the Nalerigu Bintiri Road, the Wa Bulanga Road, the Sefi Genasi in Suara Road, to mention but a few. The government has secured funding for them, and virtually all of them are going to be completed before the end of this year. Phase two of the Tema Interchange is scheduled to commence in the last quarter of this year. The second phase will see the transformation of the current two-tier interchange into a three-tier one and hasten further the turnaround time at the intersection. Other projects which are in the pipeline of this enclave to ensure maximum efficiency in the use of the interchange include one, construction of the 64.4 Kilometer Ashiama Roundabout to Akosombo Junction Road at the cost of 256 million euros from the KFW IPEX Bank of Germany. The project will see the current single carriageway of the Akosombo Road expanded into a multi lane dual carriageway, services road, construction of interchanges at the Ashiama Roundabout and the Sutrae Junction. Two, dualization of the 17-kilometer Tema to Aflao Road. The project is expected to cost 105 United million United States dollars and will tie into the Trans-African Highway Project from Lagos to Abidjan. The current two-lane dual carriageway will be expanded into three-lane carriageway per each direction. And three, expansion of the Accra Tema motorway into a three-lane dual carriageway with service roads under a public-private partnership arrangement. Evaluation has been completed and we are awaiting approval from the Public-Private Partnership Approval Committee of the Ministry of Finance. 
to engage the contractor. Ladies and gentlemen, the economic benefits of these and many other trunk roads being undertaken by the Ghana Highways Authority, the Department of Urban Roads and the Department of Feeder Roads will be immense. Government is complete committed to the successful completion of all the projects. And I urge the Minister of Roads and Highways to see to their expeditious completion. Indeed, with this year being the year of roads, I'm happy to state that there has been an appreciable improvement in the trunk road network in the country as more sections of roads are being upgraded from gravel surface to bitumen surface or asphalt concrete surfacing roads. As we talk about the upgraded conditions of our highways, we as Ghanaians need to be mindful of our responsibility in the use of our roads. Although the necessary safeguards have been put in place, the severity and frequency of accidents on our highway due to overspeeding and indiscipline are a great reproach to all of us. Motorists must be extra careful and disciplined on the highway and resist the temptation of overspeeding. Better roads should be a catalyst for national development and not instruments of death and pain. It is time we brought road accidents in our country under control. The agencies and departments of the Ministry of Roads and Highways, especially the Ghana Highway Authority, in collaboration with the National Road Safety Authority and the patrol unit of the Motor Traffic and Transport Department of the Police Service, MMTD, MTTD, need to intensify their educational and sensitization activities on speed control, axle load control, and road preservation. I appeal to MMDA to ensure that we do not have a proliferation of billboards, posters, and other marketing ads in and around the vicinity of this project. Let us use this superior road network responsibly and productively. Accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, I have the great pleasure to declare the project for the improvement of Ghana's international corridor, the great separation of Tema intersection in Tema, duly commissioned. The only sad note of today's happy occasion is that my good friend, the late Tema Manche, me and J. Kraku II, did not live to see this day. May his soul rest in perfect peace. In conclusion, let me add end by thanking the contractor and all the workers on this project very much for their diligence and competence and for, the, and for respecting the schedule of delivery. May God bless us all in our homeland Ghana and make us great and strong. Interrupted traffic flows to facilitate trade and transit in the West African sub region. This project, ladies and gentlemen, generated over 446 direct jobs through Shinuzu Dai Nippon in various categories and about 500 indirect jobs through a number of local companies who were engaged as suppliers and subcontractors by the main contractor. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, there are other pipeline projects. The completion of this project will reduce the travel time motorists spend at the intersections and has created 
congestion at the Ashama roundabout and the thermal free zone traffic light during the peak hours. This will be eliminated by the upcoming projects on all the four legs of the interchange to commence before the end of the year. All these other jobs, again, I want to promise, judging from the level that each one of them has reached, will commence before the end of the year to fully complement this beautiful edifice that we are witnessing. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to charge the Ghana Highway Authority to ensure that all the ancillary works required under this phase are undertaken for the successful takeoff of the second phase. In addition, they should ensure that all is done for the successful commencement of the upcoming projects linking this interchange to ensure smooth flow of traffic in the environs. Your Excellency, colleague ministers, Nimei, Namei, ladies and gentlemen, I urge heads of MMDAs within the project catchment area to ensure that indiscriminate erection of billboards, pistons, posters on foot bridges, curbs, etc. are avoided. Planting of trees should be embarked upon to protect the environment from exhaust pollution. Whilst bringing my speech to a close, Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, I want to put on record the special relationship that had existed and continues to exist between my ministry and the Japanese ambassador to Ghana, His Excellency Sutomi Himeno. He has always been there for my ministry, and I salute him on behalf of His Excellency the President and the people and the government of this country for his deep sense of duty and cooperation. I am only hoping that we shall continue to work with him in the same spirit in the road sector to bring a number of developments that will benefit this country and will promote the excellent relationship between Ghana and Japan. Your Excellency, I would also want to put on record the special role that the current country director of JICA has played since 2015. Mr. President, I have had the opportunity to represent you in Japan for more than seven times in connection with this project. And the current director of JICA, who has been posted to this country as, the, as JICA's country director, was the man who always welcomed us in Japan anytime we visited JICA headquarters. And he facilitated all our activities, programs, and meetings as so far as this project is concerned. I am happy that today he is here with us to witness the commissioning of this project, of which he played a key role was in Japan. He was posted to this country last year by JICA. And I want to put it on record and also to salute him for his special interest and contribution to this project. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, let me take this opportunity to thank all the consultants 
the contractors Shimizu Dai Nippon and the implementing agency of my own ministry for good work done. My special thanks also go to all the people in Tema, especially the drivers who plied this area during the construction period for the inconveniences and the difficulties that they went through. We thank them so much for their cooperation and understanding. Today, today, they themselves are witnesses of this excellent facility, and I believe they enjoy when they drive on these roads. It is my hope and prayer that they will continue to cooperate with us towards the realization of the second phase. Let me also assure those whose accesses and businesses have been affected negatively by the construction of this road that when we begin the second phase, we shall take all those concerns and challenges into consideration. And where possible, all such difficulties will be addressed. And I want to assure owners of all businesses around this intercession that my ministry will continue to dialogue with them to resolve all problems so that their businesses will continue to flourish. Ours is a government that promotes businesses, and everybody should rest assured. Anybody who has any problem, any business which has been affected by the construction of this project, our doors are open, and there is a special team put in place to address all such concerns. I would therefore want to invite all such persons to come to the Ministry of Roads and Highways, and one after the other, all such problems will be resolved. There is no problem which is unsurmountable. We want peace, and I hope that this will be accepted by everybody. I thank you for your attention. This is a very, very important road in the sense in the sense that even if we talk about even if we talk about Eastern Corridor properly you know, uh, 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 speaking Eastern Corridor starts from here hmm? Eastern Corridor starts from Tema so this interchange is key when using the Eastern Corridor rule by the time we finish the construction of Eastern Corridor from the south, from Accra or Tema to the north, compared with using what we call the central corridor. The central corridor is from Accra, Kumasi, Tamale to Paga. Mm -hmm. So if somebody uses the central corridor and the other uses the eastern corridor, the eastern corridor is shorter by 100 kilometers. Okay? An Eastern Corridor Road starts from where we are standing. If you talk about Abidjan Lagos Highway, eh, which is being constructed by ECOWAS, it covers a distance of about 1,028 kilometers. Okay? Abidjan Lagos Highway. It covers a distance of about 28 kilometers. It's being developed into a three lane double way, dual carriage. Okay? So we call it a six lane uh, road. Three lanes here, three lanes there. And that road passes through this intersection. Okay, I'm telling you the importance of, you know, I've mentioned the Eastern Corridor. I'm also saying it's important because of the Abidjan-Lagos uh, Highway. And 
and and the thousand two uh, thousand and twenty eight kilometers of the Abidjan Lagos stretch, more than half, more than half, about five hundred and seventy eight lies within the Guinean corridor from Elubo to Aflawo, and it passes through here. Okay, so you see the importance of uh, this road from here to Akosombo, and President uh, announced it. This project, before the end of the year, we are dualizing from this intersection to Akosombo, dual carriage, six lane, three here, three there at some places because some areas will be two lane, some three lane, and some even four. That will comprise what we call slip roads. Again, from this intercession, we, we are developing from here to Af Af Aflao. The first 17 kilometers up to the university, the uh, central university. From here to the central university is 17 kilometers. Work will start within the next quarter. We have almost finished. Akosombo Road, the dualization work will start. It's been undertaken by a company called INSA. They will un uh, start it you know, before the end of the year. Again, from this intercession to the new uh, port facility, the new port, eh, passing through uh, the Tema Central Hospital, we are going to dualize it. So you see the importance of this road. And this intercession, again, is going to be linked with the six-lane road construction to Tetakwashi Circle. And it will continue to New Plan. It will cover a distance of 31.5 kilometers. Okay? And before the end of the year, if I, by the next maximum two weeks but the next two weeks we are appointing the contractor huh? we, it, it was a ppp uh, program we have come to the end of it president announced it tuesday tuesday the ppp approval committee in ministry of finance is giving approval to the valuation report both the technical valuation and the financing valuation Tuesday. Then, after Tuesday, the contractor will be announced. And we are turning the motorway into a six uh, lane uh, dual carriage. Because of that, we have remodeled the current Tetequashi interchange. And by the time we finish, the current traffic at Tetequashi because of the mall, will be a thing of the past. And it will continue to new plan. 